everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Kids, Kids Club. Club. We are missing everybody so much, aren't we, Noah? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're missing yes, everybody. We are. we are missing. So, what do we always start with at the beginning of church? The Lord's, Lord's prayer. prayer. So, should we say now? Prayer. Are we ready? Our Father, who God art in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine the kingdom and the power are yours. Now and forever. Amen. See you soon. See you soon. Good. Hi guys. We're going to watch a video about a man called Saul. Now Saul was not a very nice man, as you'll find out. But something amazing happened to him, and he was changed by Jesus. So I hope you enjoy the video. The miracle of mercy. Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Saul was not a very nice man. He thought he was doing what God wanted by getting rid of as many Christians as he could. He had them thrown into prison. He hurt them. He even had them killed. Paul had got it all wrong. This was not what God wanted at all. But after Jesus spoke to him, 
he realised he'd got it all wrong. He was very sorry. He knew now that God had a plan for him. Even though he'd got it all wrong in the past, God still loved him. And if he just listened to God, he'd be able to do amazing things. God can change us and help make us better people. Even when we get things wrong, if we say sorry, if we go to God, he can just do amazing things through us. God can change us if we let him. And however bad the things that we do are, God will always forgive us if we're sorry. What an amazing thing to remember. So as Saul said sorry to God and then became Paul, we're going to say sorry also. So we want to say sorry, Lord, for the times we didn't love you, for the times we were rude or naughty, for the times we were selfish and unkind, for all the wrong things we do. We want to say sorry, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that when we say sorry, you always forgive us and help us start afresh. Amen. Ready to worship? Clear some space, get some instruments out. We're going to sing. Jump up and down and I am a sea. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. A lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Alright, so here's an old one most of you should know. We're gonna try it like you know it, and then maybe change it around a little bit. 
So why don't you see if you can keep up? I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S T I A N. And I have C H R I S T in my H E A R T. And I will L I V E E T E R N A L L Y. All right. So it sounds like you remember it. I'm impressed. Well, let's try it again, just a little bit faster, just for those of you that might not quite be there yet. I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S T I A N. And I have C H R I S T in my H E A R T. And I will L I V E. R-N-A-L-L-Y All right, that was pretty good. But you guys are way better than that. But here's what I want to try. At the end of every consonant sound, I want you to add ib. So instead of saying C-H, you'd say kib-hib. And for all your vowels, just say the vowels like normal. So if you want to say I, you'd say I. So H-I would be hib-I. Yeah? Let's try it. I am a kib. I am a kib hip. I am a kib hip rib. I sip tip. I a nib. And I have kib hip rib. I sip tip in my hip. E a rib tip. And I will lip. I vib e e tip. E rib nib. A lip lip yip. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you got that. Let's try ong instead of ib. Think you could do it? I don't know. Let's try it. I am a gong. I am a gong gong. I am a gong gong wrong. I song song. I a nong. And I have gong gong wrong. I song song in my hong. E a rong kong. And I will long. I bong. E e tong. E rong nong. A long long yong. All right, I'm impressed. That was excellent. So to finish it out, we're gonna speed it up way faster and go back to the original way we sang it. Let's try it. I am a C. I am a ch. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y What an amazing story. And this week in our craft, we're thinking about change and how Paul changed to become one of the most amazing Christians. We are going to make a picture that starts with something and changes into something else. You're going to need a piece of paper. And you're going to fold it in half, just like that. Then you're going to open it up. And in the middle, along this crease, you're going to draw the body of a butterfly. Look, just like that. And you see it's in the middle where I folded it. I've drawn the body of the butterfly with this antenna. And then you're going to need some paint for the next bit. So with your paint, you're going to paint half a butterfly. And you see, I've got lots of different colours on my butterfly. And this is half of a beautiful creature. But it's not finished yet, is it? So, just like Paul changed to become his most perfect person, that's what we're going to do with the butterfly. We're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to put it on the table and rub. I'm going to open it out. <gasps> Look at that. So your picture has changed from half to full. And every time you look at your beautiful butterfly picture, it will remind you that with God and Jesus helping us, 
we can change and grow and become the most beautiful human beings that God knows we can be. If you do one of these, can you send us a picture so we can see them? This is William's. Isn't that lovely? I'd love to see all of yours. Have fun. Hi everyone, hope you've had a lovely time at Kids Club this morning on YouTube and that you've enjoyed all the lovely activities that Catherine and Eugenie have put together for you. So just one leaves one more thing for us to do and that's to say our goodbye with our special prayer at the end. So let's just pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for our Kids Club families. Thank you for the fun that we have together, even though we can't be with one another at the moment. We pray for all those who are sick and all those who are struggling. We ask your special touch upon their lives. And we ask this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Are you ready for a big finale? Amen. Go and have a fantastic day and hopefully see you on YouTube next week. Bye.